Hi, I'm Duncan Weatherston. I am one of the founders and the CEO of Smile CDR. We make a health data platform and we're located in Toronto, Ontario. So Ontario has made significant advances over the last 15 years in health uh, EHRs. We were previously deemed to be a bit of a laggard, but with the level of investment we've put in since 2010, 2005, we've really pulled ahead. And it's largely on the back of our ability to build a really strong longitudinal and interoperable electronic health record across a variety of technologies for a significant number of hospitals and patients. You know, we have in Ontario 14 million people, you know, several hundred hospitals, tens of thousands of clinicians, and all of them need to be able to interact with electronic health records for a variety of reasons, whether that's for healthcare, for research, for reporting, um, you know, for, for population health. It's, 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 a, it's a very heterogeneous environment and it's driven largely by our vision for the future in which healthcare is a continuum and there is no distinction between electronic health and the delivery of healthcare. And, you know, our future, we're hoping, will be augmented by Smile CDR's ability to deliver these services in a seamless and enterprise-ready way. FIRE is a global standard that has been developed with the intent to ensure that systems can interoperate both at a data level and at an API level. By, by, by describing operations that must be supported, it enables application developers to understand both how to access information and what information is there, which underpins the ability to create reusable and scalable applications using a standard called Smart on Fire. Smart on Fire manages identity and authentication authorization scopes, as well as an expectation of a minimum data set. By having this pattern, it's possible to build applications that work against multiple vendors' backend infrastructure. And so as an ecosystem, you can have multiple application developers all building you know, state-of-the-art and top-line front-end applications that meet clinical need with the expectation that regardless of what platform is being supported on the back end, their applications will run consistently. The core value of this is that it allows us to have very specialized tools for, for the users, like for, you know, for cardiologists or for um, you know, radiologists or healthcare workers of any type that are dedicated to their specific needs while separating out the core underpinnings of that as data platforms, which can then survive individual applications. So you're not constantly trying to find a home for data. Small CDR fits into this, this pattern as a very strong enterprise operational service. We have, as a consequence of our roots, a clear understanding of the importance of scalability, interoperability, availability, security, privacy, policy compliance, all of those things that are necessary if you're going to play a significant role in the delivering of healthcare services to a large population. We're the maintainers of an open source package called Happy Fire, which is downloaded up to 50,000 times a month and is used globally. As a consequence, our solution is baked on top of a tried and tested background that has been used by, uh, by uh, hospitals, by, by universities, by our competitors, and really gets a thorough thrashing in the market before, you know, before it becomes you know, part of the stable package. With that, we put, put it into our, our commercial offering and we then add further enterprise capabilities over top of it, the ability to scale, the ability to, to support um, you know, new technologies such as Kubernetes or, or Kafka or other you know, cool implementations of EMPI. Our, our whole solution is driven by the idea that if you have a need that would be associated with scalability, support, all the things that you need as an enterprise, We've got that on top of our open source package, which has been tested in the real world. One of the key things that we get out of this, of course, is Canadian interoperability. In Canada, each of our provinces have different health standards, different, um, different integration patterns. They have policy differences for privacy and security. And consequently, the the mix allows us to have, or has caused us to have some challenges for data interoperability. By using a standard like FHIR, we're able to exchange information at the level that it's intended to be, the data and the characteristics, without having to enforce in that same process the policy and, and the privacy. Policy and privacy can be applied locally using the same infrastructure with 
separate instructions that fit the needs of the local jurisdiction. So for example, if your jurisdiction has a consent requirement that blocks all access, that can be implemented without impacting the data. If your jurisdiction requires that you have conditional consent, that can be impact, implemented without impacting the data. And into this mix, Smile CDR provides the capability to do both centralized and distributed data, data storage in a way that allows each province to retain its information, each location to retain its information, and yet all of them comply cleanly with the policies and practices of their jurisdiction. This last slide shows us that Smile CDR and Happy Fire are deployed globally. You know, we have implementations of Smile CDR in locations in North America, South America, uh, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, and Happy Fire is deployed throughout Asia, and as well as you can see all over the world. As we grow, there are going to be more and more locations in which Smile CDR is deployed. We are currently in 15 countries, but you know, every, every week we get more, or every month we gain more clients in, in, in new locations. One of the key values for this, of course, is that we get to support our view of better global health. This idea that if we do a job in developed nations cleanly, we'll be able to support people in developing nations as they make the leap from paper-based solutions to full and rich interoperable healthcare systems without having to go through the trials and tribulations that we've gone through in going from paper to where we are today. With that, I'd like to thank you for listening to our presentation.